Maca's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here, and in this video, I'm gonna be playing on the level Berlin, and I'm gonna be showing you how to get a ton of different challenges, as well as an achievement specific to this level called Partied Out. We're gonna be killing Tremaine with a rifle accident, we're gonna be getting Thames with the crane, and we'll be getting Montgomery and Banner lit up in the club. This will unlock an achievement or trophy, and it'll also unlock a ton of challenges in the game. In the planning stage, I chose to spawn at the club entrance, which is the first one you should unlock after one playthrough, and I'll be using the lock pick as my gear as well as a coin. From the beginning, I got frisked, then I went past and took two left turns and then a right turn right towards this target, who is standing right next to a little shortcut where I can lock pick my way through a door. Just be quick so you don't get spotted and grab the fuse cell and then grab the car battery. Use the car battery as a weapon on the enemy around the right hand corner and then drag them and dump them into the container. We will be grabbing their disguise and this is gonna be the fastest way to grab it. And right next to this container, there's also an important item known as the rat poison. We'll have to make sure to grab the rat poison before leaving. There's also a screwdriver in this room, but I'll grab a screwdriver for something else later. As we exit out, go back towards where we came from into the room with the blue crane, but this time go through the window on the left hand side. As you climb on through, you'll want to grab onto the pole, slide down and then grab onto the next ledge, and then grab the next pole and then slide down to the next ledge after that. This will get us two floors down from where we were as quickly as possible. As soon as we mantle over this railing, look to the left hand side, you'll spot a camera array as well as a couple of guards. Make sure you go past the camera array and turn on this projector on the laptop. This will make one of the guards inspect it wearing the biker uniform. This is the next uniform that we want. So we're gonna wait for him to inspect it. And once he is in position, I'm going to take them out grab their disguise and dump into the container behind it. You may as well just turn off the projector just so that it doesn't make noise for some of the other guards later on here. Now, after we grab this, we have pretty good reign of the map with this biker disguise. So we're gonna go into the giant biker hideout tower, which makes, uh, you know, starting off some of these uh, target kills pretty easy. The first thing we're gonna do is go through this hallway that links the two buildings and we're gonna go up one floor. Here we'll find the opening to one of the shortcuts, which we can now open up. We'll grab a challenge for this and it'll be available to us in subsequent playthroughs. The first thing I'm gonna go for is the crane kill on Thames. And for this, I will need the fuse cell that I grabbed earlier on in this playthrough, or you can grab a fuse cell not far from here. Feel free to use a coin to lure him closer to the actual crane itself. Although when you put the fuse cell into the crane, it will turn on a light and this should interest him and make him inspect the light. If he is too far, you can speed up the process with the coin though. As soon as he stands directly under the crane, you'll want to climb up and use the controls to drop the load onto his head. This will be an accident and will start the first out of the three different assassinations we need to grab. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the rifle and get Tremaine. And to do that, we'll go back into that tower we just came from for the shortcut and go almost all the way to the top floor. We've lost one. Learn from it, gentlemen. Once on this floor, there are a ton of different ways to approach this, but basically there are three guards and one of them is Tremaine, who will need to kill with his rifle. Now, because of the last assassination taking a really long time, approximately 12 minutes of actual map time to trigger, we basically can do anything we want while up here. So I am gonna be hiding the bodies just to get a better rating on the mission itself. But if you want, you can kind of just leave them there and just go do some other stuff on the map. 
but for the purposes of the video, I'll be getting the highest rating possible. So I'm gonna take care of that first guard and then dump their, dump their body into the container. I'm going to turn off the generator, which will make this second guard come and inspect it. Then I will take them out and also dump their body. And then I can take care of Tremaine. As for Tremaine himself, there's a couple of different ways you can approach this. I just let him go and inspect the generator. I took his rifle off of the tripod and then I just basically used the rifle against him. If you want to be a little bit more easy on your aim, feel free to subdue him and then just pull the rifle off the shelf and shoot it while he is subdued on the ground. Or you can try to poison his drink and do the same once he goes and gets knocked out. Up to you how you approach it. I figured this was a little bit more action and uh, we did it this way, so why not? Then after you grab this kill, it will trigger this to be an accident for some reason. I don't know how this is an accident where you shoot yourself in the head with your own gun from across the room. But either way, you now have that challenge done and you can make your way up onto the roof. Once up on the roof, we're just gonna grab a third kill on the easiest target and that is this target right underneath me who does a V pattern. Once he makes his way to the top left corner of the V, he stands right next to the water. And once he's standing next to the water, you can easily take care of him using the rifle. This will also grab you a challenge for dumping his body into the water, which is another one that you can grab just to get more experience and a higher uh, level mastery for Berlin. With that target taken care of, feel free to drop the rifle and go back to the large staircase from the rooftop. We're going to go all the way down to basically the bottom floor now, and we are going to light up Banner and Montgomery. We're paying for our mistakes with blood. Stop wasting time and end this. The first step here is to go across from this entrance to the far right corner. We will need a screwdriver. You could have grabbed one earlier with the rat poison, or you can grab one here on top of this yellow container. With this screwdriver, we can sabotage one of the kind of server racks. So that's what we're gonna go do now. Just make sure you don't get spotted by one of the guards. There, this is a good point, by the way, to grab a quick save just in case. You'll have to sabotage the server rack and then immediately leave the area as so that you don't get caught it's okay if they get suspicious on you as long as they don't realize exactly what happened at this point we're gonna head back kind of in the direction we came from and make our way to the bottom floor into the DJ's area this is an important thing to do because we will need the DJ disguise in order to light up the show so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the rat poison on the food in order to isolate the DJ so I can steal his disguise. You can do this in a variety of ways, but this is what I believe to be the most reliable and safest way to do it.
Once the DJ gets ill, he will begin walking in this direction. It's up to you when you take him out. You can take him out pretty early and then immediately stash him into this bin, or you can wait for him to round the corner and then watch out for the guards to disperse and then take him out here and then hide him in this other bin. Make sure the door is closed just so that no one sees you do it though. And once you put him in this bin, make sure you change into his disguise. At this point, you can lock pick your way into the DJ booth or just use the other door that's open. I don't know why one is locked and one isn't. But once you go inside, you can now dismiss the main DJ and you can begin to DJ the show. Now, what you need to do here is you need to hype up the crowd. This will allow you to do the second command. And the second command is to basically overdo it and this will cause an electric shock up on the catwalk above. The only problem with this is that it can sometimes take a while for both of the targets to line up on the catwalk for the kind of overcharged electricity show. If you do this last 10 minutes into the video, it'll only take about 90 seconds maximum, sometimes around 30 seconds. But I tried to optimize this run for a couple of hours. And if you do this as the first assassination, it can take five to 10 minutes for the second guard to show up. Once both of them are on the catwalk, use the other command this will start an electric show light them both up and you should now be able to just turn around and exit through the exit nearby pretty much ending the mission right then and there and hopefully unlocking a ton of challenges as well as an achievement slash trophy for yourself thank you so much for watching the video i hope it was helpful a special thank you to everyone on patreon for supporting the show peace